calling the plays. A little rusty early on. Reynard underneath pass is caught by Baker, but he's going to lose yardage on the play as Choice makes the tackle. We do have a personal foul. Is Number eight, 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. Late roughing the passer call there. Come down on, come back on third and one and get the first down. That's what they're doing. And that's the way it works. Touchdown, Ron Hunt. Had the receiver, Ron Hunt, on the ground when that ball went to the back of his shoulder pad, and I think he was aided by the turf making the catch or securing the catch, which obviously now going to be overturned because of that. Now, what's interesting, you can get 100 referees in, and they might not all agree on catch-no catch. Let's see what our head official here in Montgomery has to say. After review, it was determined that there was an incomplete pass. It will be third down and one at the 39-yard line. And it's Cartwright following his blockers and staying upright past the 35-yard line. Enough push for Cartwright to get the first down. I know you were impressed with William, William Hollingsworth, the fullback, watching tape this week. He had a great block there to give the Aggies a first down. This time there's nowhere for Cartwright to go as Jalen Choice is the first to him. It's second down. Play, personal foul, unnecessary roughness, defense number 56, 15-yard penalty, first down. You're the center. You have to understand that the play starts when you snap the football. If you're going to go early, go ahead, snap it, and go. Aggies have to get to the 11-yard line. And wide open is Zachary Leslie. Touchdown. In a busted coverage that gives Zachary Leslie his first collegiate touchdown and puts the Aggies on the board. As well, it just can't happen. Cade Stinnett, the typical, he's typically he's the kicker, he's punting here. And this is Baker on a short punt that goes out of bounds right near the 40-yard line. 34 total yards for Jacksonville State, over 70 yards in penalties so far. It's a Maybe 5% over the course of a season. They are three for five, but this is a mile to go on third and 19. Raynard underneath, and there comes the flag as it was Ron Hunt who was the intended target. Sam Washington making his debut as the head coach tonight. Holding offense, number 88. After the play, personal foul. Defense, number 49. 15-yard penalty, first down. So Monty Young gets the personal foul call for Jacksonville State. Malik Wilson with the holding for North Carolina A&T. You know, the interesting thing about that, Greg, this, these defensive ends for Jacksonville State, Coach Gross referred to them as out the 2018 season. That's going to be fascinating to watch, especially come bowl season. When guys are in their last game, you might see a lot of true freshmen out there. Carter still out there looking for room, and he's inside the 30, skipping tackles inside the 25 right near the first down marker. Look at how bunched up everybody is in close to the line of scrimmage defensively. Go the safe route, and Cartwright's last-ditch effort should move the chains. 13th flag of the game makes it a third and nine. Good protection, time. Reynard, though, confused with Ron Hunt, fourth down. So this just inside that. And it's blocked. Still a loose football, but now down at the 37-yard line. So Jacksonville State's special teams, which they did a great job of last year blocking two field goals, gets another one in the first game of the season this year. All knew their starters will be. Here it's Zarek Cooper back in the game, and he's handing to Jalen Green. Can't, but Jalen Hurts with a great scrimmage a couple weeks ago closed the gap. Cooper wide open is Green out of the backfield. First down, Jacksonville State. Or Murray announced the starter replacing Baker Mayfield at Oklahoma. Shea Patterson now the quarterback for Jim Harbaugh. 
at Michigan as Shaq Davidson makes this catch from Cooper for the Trojans. Yeah, he's going to be a good one, too, by all accounts. Second and five. This is the Jalen Green drive, and he's inside the 15-yard line. Defense. 21 yards for the sophomore from College Park, Georgia. Now to the 10-yard line is Landon Smith. If it's working, it doesn't allow the defense to adjust. From the 10, Green inside the five, near the four, and near a first and goal. Second down, because on third down, they're thinking throw. So if any part of you wants to air it out, this is the down to do it. Instead, it's Green, and he is tackled in the backfield, back at the six-yard line. And in Rice. To the end zone, too high for Jamari Hester, fourth down. He had him, too. He did. Before you just give me another chance. Cade Stinnett trying to put Jacksonville State on the board. And he does. 7-3 is our new score as the Aggies lead the Gamecocks. They're athletic, albeit maybe slightly undersized, but very athletic. Pierce punting to Baker. Fields it at the 41, does keep the football, but they whistle him down at the 42-yard line. First and 10, <laughs> Aggies at the 42-yard line. Lamar Reynard is hit immediately by Randy Robinson, losing a yard. That's a great job by Randy Robinson. Yeah. Hit. It's tough to stand in there and be tough and be accurate when you know you're about to get pummeled. Now third and 11. And that's a completion inside the 40 to Ron Hunt. 22-yard strike from the senior from High Point, North Carolina, finding the junior from Standard drop. Keep an eye right there on the transfer from Kentucky. Intercepted. That's Christian Wofford. Ends underneath. You feel that point of emphasis to get rid of the ball. Still Zarek Cooper in the game, using his legs to get past the 30-yard line. Get into a rhythm. 15-yard penalty results in a first down. That is another personal foul, and it's on the North Carolina A&T bench. Cooper, handoff to Green, and Jalen's past the 50 to the 49. Jalen Green had... Without any question, the most effective possession for any tailback tonight. Get a yardage. Let's see if they keep riding him north and south. Fake to green over the top. Wide open. It's Daniel Bird. Touchdown, JSU. Closest Bird came to being tackled by was by his own teammates on a 49-yard touchdown by the redshirt junior from Pensacola, Florida. He was a defensive back as a freshman, and he beat the defensive back, Mac McCain, here. Jacksonville State on top for the first time tonight. Reception by Daniel Bird. Malik Wilson from inside the five. Again, coming out, and he's got daylight. Kicker to beat. Big block to the house. Malik Wilson, 98 yards. Another short kick that Gowdy will let go out of bounds. So Jacksonville State will have great field position. I can tell you guys after that Jacksonville Free State touchdown. Kicking team, the ball be placed at the 35 yard line, first down. In the right arm of Zarek Cooper, he gets some confidence on the sideline of A&T, whole new ball game. 
Can they get Di Davidson free? They can. They've been trying to get him out in space all night, and he gets to the 40-yard line for 24 yards. Take advantage of what the defense gives you. You get an uncovered receiver in the slot. I'm with you, Greg. Turn, throw, allow him to give you an explosive play. Fake to green, loading up, wide open. Touchdown, Josh Pearson. This game has turned on its ear in the last two minutes. Back from the Aggies. One more look at Josh Pearson getting wide open as Cooper finds him. Pearson, the redshirt junior from Decatur, Alabama. McElroy and Kublik both partial to that city. <laughs> no doubt about it. I can't even get over it. It's just, just one play and it's complete. The world's totally different. And now an onside kick that is fielded by Jacksonville State. That's Ford, but did he go 10 yards will be the question. Was someone off sides? The ball went 10 yards, but were they blocking before the ball went 10 yards? Were the guys on side before the kick? A lot of things to look at here when it comes to the penalty. We had two fouls on the kick. Offsides, kicking team, number 11. Appeal needs to climb. Interference with the opportunity to catch a kick. Kicking team, 15 yards from the spot of the foul. First down. 31-yard line. Reynard with Cartwright standing to his left. Hands and he'll run right. And inside the 25, stays in bounds inside the 20. First down, Aggies. Called his name much tonight, but keep an eye on Elijah Bell at the bottom of your screen. He's their number one wide receiver. Maynard Bass snap looks his way, one on one, and there's the flag. Jacquez Payton did not give Bell any chance to catch that football. Just inside the five. Low snap, Reynard, in zone, caught. Elijah Bell with his 100th career reception, and this one goes for six. Noel Ruiz gives the Aggies a three-point lead because he hits the left upright and it doesn't go through. The lead stays at three. Huge game. Feels like the entire Pac-12 riding on the shoulders of Washington in that game. Another high throw from Cooper Pearson. Look at this effort inside the 40-yard line down to the 37 as Wilder's helmet comes off again. That's a 38-yard completion. But if he's chasing him in the open field, then they're going to they're gonna call that. Cooper loading up. Look at this wide open Landon Rice. There is a flag down. It's a 37-yard completion for a touchdown. Holding. But a holding call. Offense, number 54, 10-yard penalty. First down. Is inaccurate on screens even, but all it took was one. Deep ball down the left sideline. He's been a completely different player after that first touchdown pass. Cooper has time and crossed the middle inside the 30 down near the 28-yard line to Landon Smith, but a couple yards shy of the first down. How really this 51-yard attempt by Cade Stinnett. This would be a career long. Gets his left foot in it, but that is wide to the left. In zone. And that's Elijah Bell, who's going to run away from it. And that ball is still live at the 34-yard line. I believe Jacksonville State thought it might have hit a North Carolina a and player. It did not. Elijah tonight. Now third and ten, and a bad snap. And all Reynard can do is jump on it back in his own territory. From Michael Rivers. And this off the side of his foot, and it goes out of bounds. And Jacksonville State will have great field position with 7.03 to go in the game. Here is almost squarely on his shoulders and throwing the football. Pocket collapses. Cooper tries to stay alive and does. Inside the 40, down inside the 35. Zarek Cooper. First down. 
Cooper. But they didn't wrap up. Really the first time we've seen them not wrap up all game. Cooper over to Bird. Bird with a nice positive play. Gets about six or seven. This is a third and two with Jacksonville State near the five-minute mark, trailing by three. Green. Looks like he's short. It does, and they ran right behind big B.J. Autry, the 360-pound left guard. But it wasn't enough. Brought down just short, and now a decision to be made. Officially from 41. And it's blocked. It's a live ball in North Carolina A&T. We'll have the football. Middle of the field incomplete. That's Peyton getting a hand in on Elijah Bell. You have a long field to go, but you can still mix some rushes in if you'd like. They fake it there across the middle. This time Pearson in stride. Ball comes out at the end. And they're going to give this football. It appears, yes, to North Carolina a &T. Richie Kittles came up with it. Reynard will throw, sideline incomplete, going for Bell again. That's his 10th target tonight. Eggs where he's escaped defenders, but now with the game on the line, what is he going to do? He's going to escape, and he's going to keep the football and stay up till the 27-yard line. Line is a good job on first down, getting the drive started. Can take off, instead throws a strike to Pearson. First down. Line, they get the play called, lined up, ready to go. Sideline ball to Pearson, who stays inbounds for a reasonable shot at a field goal, but plenty of time to think about six. Cooper, underneath, good throw to Barry, first down. Bill might have two to, to get it back. Middle of the field to Pearson, first down inside the 20. He loses the football down on the ground. And it's Antoine Wilder that looks like he's got it. North Carolina A&T forces the turnover and is 17 seconds away from getting out of here with a win. A&T opts to bring pressure off the left-hand side. And it's Daryl Johnson. The guy that over the last four years has done a wonderful job making quarterbacks uncomfortable. The strip sack off the backside.